Alright guys, so I wanted to show some people how to get the new Android Smart TV launcher set up. Let me just do something here. Gotta fix something over here. Get this out of the way. You're going to go into Google Play Store. See the first app right there called Sensor TV? Look for that in the Google Play Store. Open that. Install it. Open it on your Android Smart TV. Also install it on your Android device for your regular phone. Press all the stuff here. On your Android phone, you're going to press the send button. You're going to choose on your Android. I'm showing you this on here, by the way, because I can't show you on my phone because I'm using it to record this video. You're going to look for your download folder where you downloaded your apps right here all right to send files on your android tv you press receive right here it will come up once you have on your phone to send a file like this i'll show you you can send any kind of files by the way let me just show you i'm not going to send it though because it'll mess up and you do that and it'll show up right there that's the Android TV I'm on, by the way, right now. And on your phone, you would press to go and send the file to there, all right? You have to have both apps open at the same time on each of your devices. On your Android Smart TV, you press Receive. And on your Android TV, you'll press the Send button for the APK you want to send. And it'll come up right over here as Receive, okay? You're going to install Aptoy TV, by the way, from your Android T from your Android smartphone to over here by sending it. Once you have it sent, you'll go over into here after you get the file. Close out the send to TV. Open this file manager. Open this. And then it'll be down here in downloads, like you see these over here. These are some apps I did that I couldn't get anywhere else. Because you can't use Puffin for TV browser anymore for downloading. It won't let you. And the old versions are not compatible anymore with the Android TVs. So once you do that and you have Aptoy TV installed after you install and everything. Right here, Aptoy TV. You'll go up to here, Firefox Nightly, okay, look up Firefox Nightly, don't use Firefox for Android TV because it doesn't let you download nothing with that one. This one right here lets you download stuff, okay, see I have it installed already, open it, then search up, don't search the name you see right there because it won't really come up. From what I've seen, what you do is you'll go into the search bar and you'll search Launcher X Google TV, okay, APK. You'll see the first one that comes up is APK Mirror and let me go back. Once you get to the website. You'll get these right here. Go down to the latest version, which would be right here. On the top. Would be the top one. Hold on. I just messed up because the stupid ads just loaded. You'll go down the page. Keep going. You'll go to the top one. Right on the top. And click it. A little different for me right now and a little laggy because I'm using a I'm using this by the way it's a Bluetooth freaking uh, keyboard and it has a little bit of problem with the clicky mouse thingy you could use a regular keyboard and you could use a or you can actually use a mouse actually all right but I would use a keyboard with the mouse so you can actually type in what you're typing. Once you get there, you press download APK. Okay. It'll 
it'll start your download. Once this thing goes. Okay. And you'll press download. I don't need to download it. I already have it. So after you download that and you install it, you open up this installer for this and you install it. Then what you're going to do is go over to Google Play Store again. Also, you can uninstall Send to TV afterwards. After you get App Toy TV, you don't need to keep it in there. You're going to go over here to search and you're going to search the word home. Home. You're going to go over, not the first one, the second dark blue one right here. Press it. Install it. Do not open it yet. Press. Oh. I pressed the wrong button again. Press go back to search. Button mapper. Search button mapper. Press that. Install it. Don't open it yet. Go back to the home screen. Take them from inside of this plus button and put them onto your home screen right here. That's the key I have here. Okay. Don't open this because if you open it, it's just going to be a little buggy and stuff right away. And it will kind of freeze up your TV and you don't want that. Okay. What you're going to do, this is why this app right here, by the way, is so you can actually get the home launcher for the new Google TV to work instead of having this set up and, and instead of going on your uh, your PC and doing all this crap that these people tell you to do with uh, that coding crap or whatever that they show you if you know them you know what I'm talking about if you've seen videos um, they make you go on your computer and run CMD and all this crap and put in all these codes and install the apps that way from your computer and then they make you freaking on install the version that's here which i don't really think you want to do that because if there's a problem with the new google tv you want to be able to revert back so and you want to do it without having to go on your computer don't open that you asshole so then you're going to go up here you're going to go to Devices and Preferences. You're going to go to Accessibility. Go down to Button Mapper. Turn it on like it's enabled right there. Exit out. Go back to the home screen. Press Button Mapper. Press the top one, Home button. Okay. Go to Customize On. All right. Go to single tap. Go to actions. Go to applications. Go down to where you see it says the home app. Oh my God, man. See, that's why you want to install the shit afterwards. Because it keeps on doing that. You don't want this shit fucking bothering you like that. Seriously. So, uninstall freaking damn ass send to TV after you do all. After you get everything installed you need. Because it will keep on doing that to you. Like I was saying. Let me go back. After you're done, press home button. Customize. Single tap. Go down to where it says home, press home, okay, and that's it. Afterwards, press the little circle button on your smart TV, remote control, which I can't show you because it's too dark in here, but um, maybe I can, hold on. Where's the thing? Oh, nope. I can't turn on the thingy right now. Can I? No, I can't turn the flash on right now because I'm already recording. So, just 
on your home, on your remote, just press the little circle, the button that has the little circle on it, okay? That's the home button. So press that. And then boom. You're here. This is the new setup. And as you can see, watch, I'll press something. And it opens up everything right away. Press the home button and it'll go back. That might happen sometimes and it may not happen sometimes. It does it randomly. Um, let's see. Library. These are all the stuff. These are all my... This the stuff I own. Yeah, I think these are... Yeah, these are all the stuff I own right here. And these are the TV shows and stuff I own. So I'll open one of these real quick. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I'm gonna have to figure that out eventually. I think there's a way to do that. Um, no, that's the channels. See, as you see, I pressed the back button. It didn't do that. So sometimes I'll open that stupid app app menu and sometimes it won't as you can see it opens up everything right away no loading no nothing see that time it didn't do that either so sometimes it'll open up that stupid damn menu and sometimes it won't damn it see sometimes it does it sometimes it doesn't but, um, yeah, that's how you do that, guys. So, I hope this was kind of helpful for you guys. You can also just press the back button, so you don't have to press that stupid thingy. But, with Netflix and stuff, you're probably going to have to just exit the app itself. Let's see. Netflix. Some apps will open automatically, some apps won't. You don't have to load. Hulu actually opens up automatically, which I like. That's actually cool about this new Android TV setup. And of course, Netflix is... <laughs> Netflix is raising the price. Fuck you, Netflix. Joe Hollowell here and I know what we're doing with these kids. Okay, so there you go. It doesn't, it didn't do that thing this time. So once in a while, that stupid ass menu where it'll show the drop down drawer for the old Android setup will show up. But it's not such a big deal. But look at this. This is so cool. Really, really, really cool. I mean, this is awesome. They got everything from your apps and everything on here. Press this. Oh, see, Netflix too, it does that. Watch this. And see? Automatically opens it up. You don't have to even... You don't even have to go to the stupid apps section anymore right here you don't need to go to that anymore so damn it would you stop that so guys that's how you do it so it's that button that keeps doing that anyways hope this was helpful